No question, it's a lot of work sometimes just to get ahead in life. As is the case with gardening and sowing our seeds early. Mixing, filling, watering, and planting. It all adds up, and although we thoroughly enjoy it, it still kind of stings when it doesn't go perfectly. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, perfection is not required. But we do want the work to be worth it, and starting our seeds early indoors is done with a purpose. We do it to get that much needed head start and to extend the growing season when maybe ours is a bit too short. And in those efforts to get ahead, our seedlings often grow too long, too tall, too fast. I got three things we can do to fix long and leggy seedlings, even if it's already happened. Time short as it always is, so let's dive in. As with anything, prevention is the best medicine. I'm talking about cooler temperatures, more air circulation, and higher light intensity. Great preventative measures as we saw in this video right here, but they can also be used after the fact to rectify leggy seedlings. If your young plants have grown up too tall and too floppy, correct these three parameters first. Next, once we correct the environment, let's get to work on the seedlings themselves. For branching varieties like basil, mint, and even tomatoes and peppers, we can top prune them, causing the young plants to branch out, becoming more bushier. And for plants where you've multi-seeded them, now is the time to thin them out. Trim away all but the strongest specimen to allow more airflow and less reliance on the neighbors for support. Those two things combined are going to strengthen up those stems in no time. Lastly, and this only works for certain varieties, but we can replant the seedlings completely, only this time a lot deeper. For leggy seedlings like this Roma tomato here, we can actually bury the entire stem. Bury that stem as deep as you like, right up to that first whirl of leaves, transforming a telephone pole-like specimen to a short, stout, perfect little bush. There you go, guys. Three ways to regain control of your starter plants and get your early garden back on track. Know what else is going to get your garden back on track? Watching the next episode of The Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.